Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, we are once again back at Alora RSPS today. And today we are gonna be giving away three $10 bonds. So to be entered in the giveaway, make sure to like the video, comment your in-game name, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, comment join my personal Discord, and also add me on Snapchat, FBK Merc without space. And that is all you guys have to do. Good luck, and I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get started. Alright, alright boys, it's another day at Alora RSPS today and we are once again back with Sipsik and also Ains today. And as you guys might remember in the last episode, we... M and as you guys might remember in the last episode, we did kill the Nightmare. And today we will continue to do so. So that will be the plan boys, let's get on the Nightmare grind. And let's see if we can get any lucky from the Nightmare today. So yeah, we better get something rare from there. Alright, so as you guys can see, we also have the Nightmare's drop table opened up right over here. And these are the rare loots out of the Nightmare. We have the Nightmare stuff, Inquisitor items, Eldritch Orb, Harmonized Orb, Volatile Orb, etc. As you guys can see right over here. Little Nightmare, which is very rare, 1 in 2710. And by the way, guys, it is not the big time right now. We are actually recording... Very early in the morning right now, and Alora still has 261 players online. But on peak times, they peak more than 400 plus players online. So if you guys haven't joined yet, definitely make sure to click the link down below and come and play Alora RSPS today. It is the biggest RSPS out here in 2023. And alright boys, we have arrived at Nightmare and it is time to start grinding. So we have me, Sipsik and All Saints. So let's see if we can get any lucky boys and yeah, we will see how it's gonna go. Let's get ready boys, let's get ready. And alright, alright boys, we have the husks right over here, but yeah, let's try to get the first phase of the Nightmare Guild right here. The first phase has been completed, now we have to kill the totems right over here, so let's kill the totems. And oh, should I have to go to this? Uh, I have to go to this sector right here, otherwise I will take damage. And yet I'm to kill the totems, and the nightmare will be damaged for 800 damage. And yeah, there will be three phases in total, and the nightmare will be killed. So let's see, boys. Let's see. Let's get the totems killed. All right, right. We have the sleepwalkers right over here. We quickly have to kill these bad boys right here. And there we go, boys. Very good job right here. All right, right. The second phase has been completed right here. We have to kill the totems again. All right, we got the sleepwalker skilled, and now it's time for the final phase right here. All right, the nightmare is about to be killed right here. Let's see what we will get, boys. Can we get any lucky? That will be the first kill of today. And let's see, let's see, let's see. What will we get, boys? Shit, we still have to kill the totems. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's kill the totems as well, and yeah, then we will see what we will get. And what will we get right here, boys? Let's see. Can we get any lucky, please? And we didn't. It took us seven minutes to kill it, boys. We got some uh, logs right here, and as well as also some emeralds. But uh, yeah, time to bank, and then we will be back. All right, so it's going to be time for another kill right here. Let's spec it right away, and that's how we do it. But yeah, time to kill another one. Alright, so the first phase is about to be completed right here. We are killing the totems right here. And uh, yeah, that, that will be the second kill. So let's see if we will have any RNG this time. But the loots from the Nightmare are actually very expensive. So if we happen to get lucky from here, we will make loads of money. Alright, so the Sleepwalkers have been killed. And it is time for phase number two. But yeah, we really have to look out for these mechanics right here, because otherwise we will take loads of damage. And yeah, that's how Nightmare works. You have to, you know, kill its HP bar, then you have to kill the totems in the corners, the Nightmare will take 80 damage, and you have to do three phases in total pretty much, and then the Nightmare will be uh, killed. Alright, alright, uh, time to kill the totems again, and then it will be time for phase number 3. And we got it killed, we got some adamant ores, as well as also an uncut emerald. No RNG at all, boys, but time to bank and then we will be back. And as you guys can see, it takes us about 8 minutes to kill a nightmare every single time. So, yes, that's how long it takes. But time to bank and yeah, then we will be back. Alright, and that will be the final phase right over here. And then we will get another drop, so it better be good, boys. It better be something rare, we will see. And by the way, I am the top damager right now. Look at that, boys. 
The prayer gape is doing a good job right here. And the nightmare is about to be dead right here. Let's see. Oh, fuck. We still have to kill the totems. I forgot about that again. Time to kill the totems right here. And then the nightmare will be killed. And let's see what we are going to get right here, boys. Um, We actually got a casket easy. And also some pure essences, etc. That's what we got, guys. But uh, yeah, time to bank. And then we will be back. All right, all right. First phase of the nightmare has been completed. We will soon get another kill. So, yeah, let's see. It's time for the sleepwalkers now. Let's get them killed as well. And yeah, that's how we do it. All right, all right. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything too good right here. We got a, we got an easy gasket. We also got some blood runes and gold runes, etc. But we will go and bank right now. And uh, then we will be back. And we will do one more kill for today. So that is going to be the plan, boys. But yes, unfortunately, we haven't been lucky yet. But maybe it's gonna change... Whenever we will do the next uh, Nightmare Gill in a few minutes, we will find out. Alright, and the last Nightmare will be guild right here in a few. We will have to kill the totems, etc. And yeah, then we will find out if we can get any lucky boys. Alright, alright, and the guild is about to be completed right here. Let's see what we will be able to get from the Nightmare boys. And we better get something good. Let's help Sipsy and all chains kill the totem right here. And let's see if we can land on anything good, boys. Can we get something good from the Nightmare right here? Is the question. We will see, boys. And no, we didn't. We got some uncut rubies, nature runes, and also bones. That's what we got. No RNG, unfortunately. But as I showed you guys, Nightmare actually drops loads of good items if you get lucky. And the loots that you can get from here actually go for... A lot of cash as well. Let's go and check out the trading post right here and see how much these items are going for. For example, the orbs. How much can we get for the Eldritch Orb? 950 mil, that's crazy. Let's see what else do we have. We have the dude Volatile Orb. Look at these prices, boys. These are actually so damn expensive. It is crazy. Let's also check out Inquisitor as well. Inquisitor Maze, for example. Dude... Yeah, look at the prices of these items, guys. These items go for so much money. So, if you get lucky from the Nightmare, you will literally make bank, boys. Um, Let's see if we have any Inquisitor items right here. 500 mil for the Blade Skirt, for example. Let's see the Nightmare stuff right here. How much does it go for? 700 mil. So, yeah, if you get lucky from Nightmare, you will make bank. But, unfortunately, we didn't get lucky today. But we will be back in the next episode, and we will go continue grinding the Nightmare, that's for sure, boys. We won't stop before we get a rare loot. 